word is the fleet has you chasing ghosts on Zoom. Where have you been? About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Happy. Oh, I'm thrilled. Still, this leaves me with a lot of unknowns. And in our line of work, unknowns get you killed. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a gold bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? His credentials. So you're hitting the Gall Bank branch in New Atlantis. Nice score, very lucrative and very dangerous. If you're going after a gold mine like that, I'll want to come along for the ride. Or you're not getting near Dombrowski. You want credits? Hugs? What? Well, well, it appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. That's a disturbing way to put it. But I suppose that's the best offer I'm gonna get, so I'll take it. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, 
The Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh, 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 this is my cue. Step aside, mortals. Barrett is here. Yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper-level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Trident equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I cut my lessons to a person to a ship. Vessels more or less run which doesn't mean much of a crew to do around here. On behalf of myself and the entire team at Triton Luxury Lines, we wish to thank you for choosing to travel with us. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? In my cabin? Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. 
pleased to make your acquaintance. The society chair is really outdone Here for business or pleasure? The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates or the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. That's all then? Okay. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Don't forget to donate to the cause. So, what brings you aboard? Have you tried the canapes? Horrid. Positively horrid. I heard he uses Galbank's VIP suites on the Siren of the Stars almost monthly. Does the man ever do any real work? Huh. Well, that was boring. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Nice to have met you. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Hello, are you a member of the society? <laughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Enjoy the rest of the event. Hmm, an open bar would have been nice, but Dryden's gouging us for every credit we've got. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Hmm, well that was boring. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy the cruise. Sorry. Do I know you? Look, I think you're definitely confused here. I really don't have time to have a discussion with you. My partner's waiting for me. He's a very important man. His wife? <laughs> oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? If you had another way to get the information, you wouldn't be dealing. You'd be demanding. You know more about me than I suspected. Can't have that. 
That's true. For once, I would like to see him squirm. I'd love to see that man suffer. It's the right thing to do, but it could ruin the rest of my life. You know what? Forget it. The price of doing business by slinging mud is way too steep. What else you got? You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I... I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know... This whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. You're pissed off? Imagine how Dombrowski's gonna feel when we start stepping on his toes. <laughs> Good. I hope you crush them so badly he'll be unable to walk. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the credits are clean. So on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? What, are you writing a damn novel? <sighs> Fine. Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any Galbank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Galbank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. I've done this particular cruise run several times, and I can assure you that the route is quite safe. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? I hope so. I'd like to think so. I hear you. No, it's not that simple. Oh, this is utterly preposterous. I'm not giving you anything. I should say so. <laughs> the nerve of you to even ask something so stupid. The society chair and really Vera giving you trouble. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Like the ship's purser probably told you, 
It's because the system is completely automated. The only way you're gonna get the award is by using Sheila's claim ID. But she's not going to just hand it over. Here, give her this. I'm certain it'll help. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Go do something useful, okay? Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? Oh my goodness. How did you know about that? There's no need to make a scene. If you're here to steal the award, there's nothing I can really do about that, is there? Here, take it. Hello. You here for the charity event? Dombrowski, uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy. Or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Maybe I am a little drunk, but you're still a liar. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? That view is absolutely spectacular. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to temper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. I'm not particularly inspired by your shining example of confident leadership here. Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sandin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Don't you have somewhere to be? In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly fashion. 
An open bar would have been nice, but Trident scouting us for every print. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong. The quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work, and all that, but I'd rather work on it. Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm so bored down here. I've been counting the deck plates just to take up some time. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away? Feel free to look around, but don't mess with any of the controls. Hours now. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry. 
But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. You may as well ask, is it necessary for the sun to set on Jemison or for one to wear a pressure suit when entering the vacuum of space? I pride myself on having an intensely thorough education, though I'd hardly call myself a professor. Though I'm sure that your compliment also meant you were having trouble understanding what I've been saying. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials All about me in your possession. The your only thing please. I have to offer in the return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Rather astounding that you deciphered our communication attempt. It only took you a minute more than we expected for you to work through the calculus and participate in the discussion. But the rat models are notoriously unpredictable. Quite a shame that you need to resort to blackmail to arrive at the point of equity in our discussion. However, I will acquiesce to your addendum. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. Our security team would appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched into hell. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? May I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Ah, of course, Please of course. Your cabins I understand completely. And anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, 
It's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Risky. I like it. Please, if you experience any issues in your dealings with the distribution center, let us know. We're always striving to improve. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? I hope we have what you need. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. Welcome to the, <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Oh, no, none at all. I'm all alone down here. Yeah, yep, completely by myself. Well, I, I guess you're down here too, right? So <laughs> that's two of us now. Sorry, not trying to lie to you or anything, just, uh, yeah. Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit and then I'll unseal the archives. Shh, they'll hear us. 
Look, Ecliptic busted in here and said something about letting you walk into the archives and then they're going to jump you. I'm supposed to let you in and then get the heck out of here. They said if I didn't do exactly what they said, they'd kill me. Just be careful. I don't even know how many of them are hiding in there. You need serious firepower. Wow!
Bog. Tell him to lighten up. Some people think this place is scary. It can be, for sure. But they're just regular people here. Some are good-hearted, others struggle with it. Always good to remember that. I got a bounty so big, the Triker's Alliance had to be up this summer. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Nope. EM-class is certain death. Back it up. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neighbor, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comp spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Best we can. What are you, five? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. Isla's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I wouldn't get on her bad side. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I going to be very disappointed? 
Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet? We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. Anything ship-related, you're at the right place. Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the Archives. We're taking care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't change the fact that Delgado is still a murderer. Your best buddy has killed every single one of our previous informants. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the Legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. 
It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. This mission? It's good to have you back. What can I do for you? Nice work. Let me take a look. Interesting. Looks like he's been meeting up regularly with Neva Mora to transfer goods and cash from Sidonia. Which means the Crimson Fleet's just lost one of their drop points. <laughs> that should set them back a bit. That it? It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. That it? I'll be damned. So some of the UC guards at the lock helped touch off the riots. Everyone thought he was some kind of legendary criminal mastermind, but even the great Jasper Crix needed a helping hand to get out of prison. Have any more? Tisk tisk. Looks like Mr. Rokoff lied on his application to Trident Luxury Lines about having a clean record. No matter. Next time he jumps from the key, we'll have him picked up. That will be one less fleet captain for us to worry about. That it? Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Any other fragments? Yeah, you're right. But there's no way this was a solo job. Shifting all those parts takes serious manpower. I'll send this to Mast so they can shake the tree a bit. See what falls out. Looks like Durand better start looking for parts somewhere else. Anything else? So Voss engineered a way to directly interface with the key's mainframe? <laughs> I knew he was a math genius, but didn't realize he was so tech-savvy. Well, we'll share this information with Galbank. Hopefully it'll help them shore up the security on their cryptocurrency. That it? So, Mr. Yasso is actually Lionel Soto. We thought Soto was dead. At least, that's what the records told us. I'll have the records updated, but seeing as Mr. Yasso has surrounded himself with the Crimson Fleet... There isn't much we can do. Yet. Anything else? Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. I'll be here if you have any more questions. <laughs> <laughs>